Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. We're going to do some more questing here in the Aralvi Highlands today. I kind of thought about going elsewhere, but I think we're fine to stay here for now. I think I want to head over and work on the Princess Trapped, collect our 12 motes of Mizrael. And then we have some stuff we can do to the south, killing some more raptors, taking on the boulder fist brutes and maguses. And then we need to find the befouled bloodstone orb uh, over near Stromgard. But yeah, I think we're fine to stay here for now. And maybe at level 39 we'll go back to Stranglethorn and wrap up some things over there, but... Yeah, let's, let's do these for now. Uh, the trick here is finding the entrance to the cave. Uh, let's see... Is this it right here? Yeah, I think that it is. Well, he ran quite far. Yeah, we're gonna have to be really careful with that inside the cave. That is too far to let them run. Uh, in the cave, they're gonna pull a bunch of ads doing that. Yeah, they run at like 30%, so we'll have to hamstring at about 40%. Just to be safe. I think what might be a good move is maybe we work on uh, Arathi Highlands and Stranglethorn over here and then when we're kind of done with that, maybe in a few levels we head over to Kalimdor and we can do Dustwallow and Tanneris at the same time? What level are the Tanneris quests? That'd be nice to know. Uh, well, those are much higher level apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Tanneris is until like level 46 to 50.
can make some silk bandages, and we might as well. Uh, they don't heal for a ton. They only heal for 400, which is pretty insignificant, actually. Pretty insignificant. That's probably why we have not been using them. Uh, okay. I'm gonna blow retaliation here. And we're gonna work on this guy first. Uh, we pulled another one. That's not what I want. I do have a potion, but I would very much like to save it. Almost disastrous, but we managed it. Let's not jump down on those guys, we can just go around. Yeah, unfortunately we can't mine this. Uh, we, our skill is not high enough. Once we have all the items, it does turn in right here above us. Not really a reason to head up there until we're getting close to being done with the collection part. Uh, will this pull them both? Yeah. It, it, it will. Let's do a little death wish here. Get some additional damage going.
I am in the queue for RFD, and I, I would like to do that. If we can, that would be cool. It's funny, that would be the second time I've been in this cave on different characters and got invited to join a dungeon group. Uh, this happened on the Paladin 2 when we did this quest here. I don't think I ever came back to finish it on the Paladin, I think that we're still, uh, we're still in progress there. Uh, I don't really want to fight two more of these guys. In fact, I'm gonna have to do a couple of things here. Uh, well, maybe I'm just gonna have to die here. I don't know. I'm, I'm frozen in place. That's not good. Uh, yeah, I would very much like to flee. The Frostbolt's gonna make that damn near impossible. Oh, it goes through walls here. Perfect, perfect. Uh, we're getting respawns back. That's exactly what we can't have happen right now. It's probably going to take them a while to put this group together. Oh, we've backed ourselves right into a really, really, really bad spot. Yeah. This is not going to end well for us. I can already tell that. Everything's respawning so fast. Gets us killed very often. Just the respawn rate. I'm hoping this stuff leashes. Should leash. Oh, we can't go that way. If it if this is not enough to leash it, then we're dead. And it looks like we're just gonna be dead. Yeah. That's uh pretty pretty absurd, I think. Yeah, I think it's pretty pretty absurd. Don't really know what else to say about it. Not very happy right now. Um, yeah, that's some bullshit. That's all. Well, we're gonna do the spirit run back. And yeah, thank you respawn rate for uh, wrecking us. Also, I mean, that stuff should have leashed. We, we ran that stuff pretty far. And when we go back in there, we're gonna be in basically the same terrible position that we're already in, surrounded by enemies. So yeah, fun times. Uh, yeah, I would like to do RFD. I, I think I have time. I have time, assuming that we get started within the next like 20 minutes or so. What do we have? We have a Paladin and we have a Shaman. I guess maybe, it's, is it too much to hope that maybe one of these classes that can heal is actually healing? Would that be too much to, uh, too much to hope for? Probably. Probably would. Need deep, well, he says we need DPS, so, I mean, that's good. Can't be too hard to find DPS for RFD. Uh, but we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> okay. I, I won't, I don't have to reply. What's gonna be weird is, is when you watch this later and I'm replying to you after the fact without actually replying to you in the game. But thank you, I, I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. I really do enjoy when, when I get into groups with you guys. Even if I don't know that you're in the group until afterwards, uh, I, I appreciate that too. But yeah, the chat tab is one of the tabs where, where I do have whispers enabled, so... If I am in a group and you whisper me while I'm in a group, I, I'm, it's definitely gonna pop up, so...
can Robert find his way back to the entrance? There was a tree, right? There was like a... There was a tree kind of at the beginning of the trail. And maybe it's this tree over here. Yep, I think it is. It uh, looks like we're getting this group together pretty quick. Another warrior. Alright, so we've got... Two paladins, a shaman, and two warriors. That's going to be a fun group. That's going to be fun. I'm assuming one of the paladins is healing, maybe? Let's go get our body back here so that way, you know, we're summonable. I am looting this chest. That's happening. Where is everybody at? Booty Bay, Mirage Raceway, Razor Fen Downs, Southern Baron. So we're going to get a summon pretty soon. I'm not going to be able to finish this uh, before we get our summons, I don't think. But we're going to make as much progress as we can on it. Uh, Hunter, if you want to take this one here. Oh no, you don't? You don't want to take that one? Okay, fair. Fair enough, we don't have to. Just gonna do the old divide and conquer. And I'll do what I typically do, so the dungeon will be a separate video. A video that could come out before or after this one. When, when I get into the group so early in the run, or so early in the video, it, it could go either way. I, I might just put the dungeon up first, and then come back and finish this and then put this video up. Maybe the same day, maybe the next day, it really depends on what else is going on that day. But unlike the Paladin, we, we will come back here and finish this one. I probably said that too on the Paladin, but I just never got around to it. I'm glad that we emptied out the bags and everything. I'm kind of worried about our armor. I think I've repaired recently. Ah, uh, no. Nah. It's not the best, right? It's not the best. Huh. If we don't wipe it all during the run, then it should be fine, but... If we die a couple times, our, our armor might be in kind of a rough spot. Yeah. See how it goes. I could hearth back to Hammerfall. And in fact, maybe I will once I get the summon. Uh, we are in combat with something. I guess we must be in combat with this one that the hunter is fighting. I'd like that to go away. There we go.
This hunter is certainly clearing everybody out pretty effectively. Looks like we'll probably be getting a summon any time now. I haven't done RFD in a while, and it's one of those dungeons that I, I don't exactly know all the routes, so we'll see how it goes. We've got quite a, a range of levels here. We've got a couple level 33s, we've got a couple level 40s, and then we've got us kind of in the middle. I, I don't actually know what level the dungeon is. Or rather, what the range of it is. Dungeon Finder thinks we can do it, but uh, I I've queued for stuff in Dungeon Finder before, only to find out that all the mobs were orange and red. So the Dungeon Finder can't always be trusted when it comes to whether or not we're at level. Alright, we are getting our summon. I will resume this video uh, after the dungeon, probably. And we should be right back here when we pick things up. Looks like we still need five motes of Mesriel. Well, let's work our way back into the cave and towards the turn in.
Well, that was clever of him. This is not the way we need to go. Uh, we need to go a different way. Although now that I've cleared this way, I might as well jump down from over here. Yeah, that will work. Pretty sketchy, but might be okay if we're careful. Just out of range of our war stomp, too. Well, we have all 12 items, now we just need to fight our way to the obelisk to turn it in. And we missed the shield slam. Beautiful. Uh, now he's going to pummel the shit out of us from, you know, a couple feet away. That's not going to be good. Let's see if maybe we can survive this. At this point, I am not sure if we're going to. Oh, we did. Perfect. Let's quickly eat all of our health back. Oh, you're a rare. That's that's awesome. That's just great. 
luckily you don't have a lot of uh, HP. Otherwise that could have been very bad. Geomancer Flint Dagger. Never seen you before. Alright, we do need to eat. Let's do that. Uh, you know, we've only got three guys to take out to get to the pillar, but two of the guys are spawned right on top of each other, which is amazing. And they're both casters, so that could be pretty painful. Uh, which means we're going to have to deal with this first guy by himself. We have to make sure we don't pull the others. Let's try to bring him back here. That's unfortunate. That's exactly what we couldn't have happened. Luckily, he kind of veered to the le to the right, but um, okay, good. He died off all on his own. Now we can take on the two of these guys. I don't really have any tricks. Everything's on cooldown. Yeah, everything's on cooldown. We have no potions. Uh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Not bad. This cluster of shards looks much like the shards of Misriel, but the same feeling of security does not pulse through them. Ah, you activated these shards. Already I feel more myself. But alas, I am still far from free. Four stones of binding are scattered throughout Arathi. These stones keep me pinned beneath the earth. To unlock them, you must unlock the strongest, the stone of inner binding. And to do that, you must gather the keys from the other three. These stones are watched by guardians, but if you are clever or lucky, you may find ways to banish them. Uh, okay, cool. I think we have to fight elementals? Not really 100% on that, but let's go ahead and chart a course out of here. Uh, because we are done here. Um, yeah, I don't really want to go that way. Am I going to have to fight my way out of here? Yeah, if I want to live, uh, we probably will have to fight our way out. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to hearth out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to fight out of this cave. Let's just, uh, let's just hearth out. Oh, are we gonna loot? Yes, we can loot. Yep, we're gonna get out of here. Let's see, cresting key, thundering key, and burning key. We'll, we'll try to come up here and get the cresting key, then we'll come down and get the thundering key, and then maybe we'll go down to the south and, uh, work on some of the stuff down there.
right, that should be good. Uh, maybe we need to buy a little bit more meat. Let's let's see. Oh, you don't have meat. You have finely aged cheddar. Okay. I don't really know how this quest works. I forget if we, maybe if we kill some of the elementals around it, we get items to reduce the power of the elite. I, I have no idea. Let's just go take a look. It looks like we just need to get to the, to the item in the middle. Shouldn't be that hard to do. I'm not sure if these guys are going to be runners, but I'm hoping that since they're elementals, they don't have any impetus to run. That would help us out a lot. Well, they are dodging quite a bit. Oh good, an ad. Let's see if Deathwish can get us out of this. Barely. It barely got us out of it. We're gonna eat before we click on this. I think we can get in range to click it without pulling this other guy, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, so I want to be ready to fight it. Nope. <laughs> Guess again. Okay, that's one key down. Let's angle down to the southwest uh, and see about getting the second key.
something I'm, I'm kind of curious about, and uh, maybe you guys could uh, let me know in the comments. How many of you guys are actually looking forward to playing Diablo Immortal now that it's coming out on PC? I had completely written it off. I love Diablo, but I had completely written off Diablo Immortal before they uh, announced the port to the PC. And now that they're doing that, I'm actually kind of excited to try it out. It looks really good, like visually at least, for a game that was developed for mobile. Uh, I saw some PC gameplay. And besides the UI looking a little bit strange, which will probably get adjusted over time, even though they say that it, it won't. <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm definitely going to be trying it out when it when it opens up in June for the open beta. Obviously, like the only thing I worry about with it being a mobile game is pay to win elements. How long before you can buy like XP boost and power boost and stuff like that from the store? I don't know. And I'm kind of hoping they did a good job of the story and good job with the lore because that's kind of one of the big things that I love about Diablo games is just the atmosphere created by the lore and the story. Uh, we're going to pull a couple of these guys. I guess there's no hope that this is going to act as line of sight. Uh, you know what? We're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> I am talking too much and I'm not paying attention to my health at all. Oh, we might just get get deleted out of the game here. <laughs> yeah, we can't really get hit anymore, so let's not aggro any of these raptors. Alright, let's uh, eat and maybe try that again at full health and with less distractions next time. Oh, this guy got rather close. Um, yes. Thank you for not aggroing. But yeah, I'm thinking that I'll, I'll at least do the story campaign. And uh, I'll hope that it's good. Uh, beyond seeing a few minutes of gameplay, I know nothing about the game beyond that. I tend to not put a lot of research into games. I, I like to go into things a little bit blind. And just be surprised. For, for good or for bad, I, I like to just be surprised. Okay, what are we going to do here? Can we pull this guy out on our own with the rifle? Uh, maybe, but... Not like that. Oh god. How many times are we going to get hit before we get a hit in? One, two, three... We got the Murph Star of the Tiger. The Murph Star? I can't even imagine what in the hell that means. But yeah, there you go. There's a Murph Star, if you were wondering. Uh, same thing here. This this is not this is not ideal. Um hmm. I guess we have to do the same thing. I have to shoot and run away as quickly as I can. Well that didn't work. Let's come back here. Oh, oh, good! <laughs> that was the button that I wanted. Yeah, why not? Oh, Jesus. Here we go. It's gonna be one of those days. Alright, we, we might be able to salvage it. Yeah, we have to be on those interrupts. Have to be on the interrupts. Let's try to get this thing, and then we're going to heal up and get out of here.
maybe we just go all the way out to the west and we, we get this one done. I, I think I want to do that. I think I just want to finish this. Uh, can we go behind Refuge Point? I have to think that we can. All right, here we go. Fire elementals this time. Fire elementals that just burn the shit out of us every time we hit them. They have a permanent fire shield. That's uh, pretty overpowered and pretty crappy for us. I wonder if that fire shield would affect people who were casting or shooting with a bow or if it's only punishing to melee. Because it seems like one of those things that's probably only punishing to melee. Because that's really nice. Alright, that's that. Where do we have to turn? Okay, good. So, at the Stone of Inner Binding down here to the southeast. Let's do that as well. Um, I don't know how many more chains this one has, but I do just want to finish this one up today.
All right, some rock elementals down here. I don't think this is the last part. I'm pretty sure we have to do one more step after this to actually summon her uh, out of the earth. I don't think it's done here. I feel like it's done back where we started. Uh, these guys are pretty beefy. We're not making a lot of progress through his HP here. It's, uh, it's slow going. There we go. This is the Stone of Inner Binding. It is the strongest of the binding stones and must be unlocked for others to open. Misrael speaks through the stone. You have done it. You opened the stones of binding. I can feel the shackles about me loosen and freedom draws ever closer. You are a noble warrior, my rescuer. Opening the stones of binding loosened much of my confinement, but a lock still holds me chained. It is the keystone you see among this circle of stones. And the key is held by one of my captors, the Stone Watcher Fosrick. You must obtain that key, which the Stone Watcher calls the Rod of Order, from Fosrick, and use it to open the keystone. You have done so much to aid me; just a little more, and my gratitude will shake the very foundations of the earth. That sounds ominous, but sure. Uh, I have no idea where Fosrick is. Obviously, uh, he could be—he has a huge path here. Uh, you can see the orange line that takes you all the way around. So we'll run around for a bit, and we'll see if we can find him. Let's check in general chat to see if anybody has eyes on him.
And yeah, I say let's check in general chat, but realistically, who is actually here right now? A handful of people. Just a handful. Promising. Looks like we might have found him. I know that he used to be an elite, but I'm pretty sure in Burning Crusade he's not an elite anymore. It doesn't mean he won't be tough enough to uh, pound us into a pulp. It just means that we'll have a chance. Yeah, there he is, the big boy. Uh, he's got some ads with him. Uh, I don't want to pull him here, though. Let's let's pull him away from the raptors. He's level forty-two, so. We are getting assistance from our rogue friend here, which I greatly appreciate. Oh good. Perfect. That's actually awesome. And then this goes back down to the south southwest. Uh, let's navigate the raptor fields. And we'll head back down there. I still feel like it culminates back up this way, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, without a big cooldown, like, um, maybe retaliation up, I don't think we would have been able to handle him and his little cobalt adds. Especially since he's level 42, I'm kind of worried that uh, when we open, when we break out Misrael, that she will also be level 42. But I don't believe she has any adds. Uh, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier. We can try Deathwish, which is kind of a double-edged sword. Still nine minutes left on retaliation. We could, we could wait that out if we can't do it the first time. By the time we do an attempt two, we'll probably have either shield wall or retaliation up. I feel like retaliation is better. Uh, because surviving is fine, but if we're not getting heals and there's no other damage going out, what we really need to do is damage the enemy more, so... Probably try to do retaliation if we can't do it without a cooldown.
What did we get? We got male gloves, six strength, six stam, five spirits. Not better than what we have. The keystone is charged with tremendous geomantic energy. You place the rod in the keystone and, shu and a shudder is felt beneath you. Misrael speaks. Oh, hi. Well, oh, shit. It'd be cool to be able to read that before this happened, but I guess that's not going to be a thing. Uh, furthermore, are we going to be able to kill this guy? I have no idea. Without any other cooldowns or any potions, it might be a tough, tough one. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> That's it. Uh, we don't need this thing, I don't believe, but... Then again, we didn't take the follow-up quest, so... We are just kind of screwed here, I guess. Well, that was fun. Um... Yeah, I guess we have to clear the whole area of elementals first. Would have been a good start. We probably could have had him. If we hadn't pulled the ad, it would have been relatively simple. Uh, we don't have any bandages, so I can't even try the trick of fearing them and then bandaging. The good news is we're right here. The bad news is we're not any better equipped to deal with that guy. Uh, the other good news is that all of our armor is broken, so that's going to help us out a lot as well. We'll give it one more shot today. Um, yeah, we'll give it one more shot. I'm going to try to clear out the elementals around the quest first. And uh, if I had just taken the quest, I wonder if I could just have run away. I wonder if maybe we don't have to fight that guy at all. We, we didn't have an objective to fight him. It's kind of shit that we didn't even get to read the quest before he spawned. But that's kind of how the game is designed, so. Yeah, he's still standing there. I just like, I don't, I don't want to kill him without the fucking quest. Uh, because if the quest does say to kill him, then we're going to kill him. We're not going to have the quest to do it. And it's going to be a shit show. Getting in there and getting the quest is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, we can't get in there and get the quest without aggroing him. I can't get in there and aggro him without aggroing everything around him. <sighs> Fuck, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take 20 more minutes and work our way in from this side. And uh, maybe if we come behind him, maybe we can click on the quest quickly enough to take the quest before we have to engage him. Maybe by then, retaliation will be up. We'll see. Oh, he despawned. That's just great. It's fine. I don't think we need to wait the three minutes for retaliation as long as we don't aggro another earth elemental while doing this, which we're probably going to aggro this guy. 
No. Okay. Um what? So he didn't spawn again. We don't have a quest to kill him. He's like he what is he a one-off? He spawns one time. And if you don't kill him that time, you don't get to kill him, or don't have to kill him, whichever perspective you have. That's a little bit weird. Yeah, I don't really I don't really know about that. But uh hey, it is what it is. Let's let's head back to town and we'll get this turned in and see if it chains in anything else. I remember fighting Misriel herself, doing it over here somewhere. So maybe that'll be the last part of the chain. We'll see. Welcome, warrior. The lady has informed me of your coming, and if we are to bring her back to the surface, then we have much to discuss. Feldurin the Lost was once a member of our order, the Twilight's Hammer. But he lost his mind and scorned our teachings, and before he fled from us, he stole the scroll of Misriel. We could not catch him, but rumors say he hides in the Badlands, gibbering and mad. To bring the lady back to us, you must find the scroll, and to do that, you must find Feldurin. Uh, yeah, so we're not we're not doing that right now. Cool. Okay, that that's fine. We do have stuff down here to the south to do. We have a little bit over here. Um, this is all level 37 and 38. Guys, I am going to take a break here. Um, this cold that I have is really, really wearing me down today. Uh, the longer I go, so... I'm going to take a little break. We'll wrap things up here, and I need to do some thinking about where we want to go next. Uh, we have some options. Part of me wants to do some stuff over in Kalimdor. Part of me says it's too far to travel. Uh, we have some lower level stuff here, inspecting the ruins. We have the Black Shield, the Suspicious Hoofprints. We've got a couple flight points here in Dustwall of Marsh. It's, kind of, it's making it pretty appealing to me. And we could just fly to Camp Taraho and run down here. I think we're going to go to Duswallow. I think I want to do that. The alternative is that we go back into Stranglethorn for a bit, which we eventually will, but we have a while. We can kind of let things... Let things go green there a little bit uh, would be ideal. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.